Hi guys, how you doing? St. George's Square again. How to get to Lower Baraka and the Siege Bell. And maybe we're going to make it for 12 o'clock. Got enough time, I think. But I'm not sure if it's going to ring because it used to ring at 12 o'clock every day, the Siege Bell. Down by uh, Fort St. Elmo, if anybody knows, by the Mediterranean Conference Centre. So we're going to walk all the way through Valletta. We're going to walk like a bit of a mini tour as well. I'm going to show you some of the architecture on the way. Uh, we're going to go past the Bishop's Palace. I think we're going to probably that way. Just see what we find as we're walking around. The restaurants are all open. Lunchtime. It's bloody hot, guys. Over 30. This was a... Uh, this is St. George's Square. And just this area here is where uh, the dinosaur came out and what was he on the motorbike or something because i haven't seen the movie yet this is a very important statue here this is was the uprising uh against the british there it is in 1990 uh if i'm not mistaken some maltese were killed and the british uprising against the british and it made a turn uh of the of the british because this all this area was owned by the British there, they were like the main guard over there. So this was like the parade grounds and things like that. So they were keeping some Maltese back. There was starvation and things like that. Anyway, I'm not going to go too deeply into it. That's the statue regarding the uprising against the British. Come on, let's go. We have to, we're going to go to the Siege Bell and Lower Baraka. We're going to walk past some restaurants. Uh, I'm not sure which way. We're going to go past the pub. I've showed you before. Many people will say go in there, Steve, but I'm not over impressed. We're big business here, selling water. Some restaurants aren't open though. This is the uh, road that connects Main Guard to Merchant Street. So we're going to walk a little bit down there. St. Ursula Street, Bishop Street. Christopher Street, I think that's the way I'm gonna go. But there's lots of ways you can go. You can walk, actually walk straight. I'll show you that as well. If you wanna keep the view of the Grand Harbor. This is a nice restaurant. Looks good, the food. It's called The Office. I think I've stopped a few times. We're coming up to the pub. Oliver Reed died here. I think that's the... Is that right, guys? I don't know. He was a bit of a weird character. Oliver Reed, eh? I saw some interviews from him. He was, he was out there because probably he was drunk most of the time. This is the pub, anyway. He was his favourite pub. Husband and wife. So if you want to go and have a beer, you can go and have one there. The pub. This is Merchant Street. Now, if you want to, you can continue straight down to the Grand Harbour, turn left and walk along the sea. But what I'm going to do is uh, use this opportunity to show you a, a little bit of the back streets, show you some statues and some walkways down and the lion if it's still there, because there was one. This is one of the main entrances into from the Grand Harbour into Valletta. Very historical. Let's have a look. You can see many restaurants here. They're getting bigger and bigger, the restaurants. Soon you won't be have to walk down traditional Maltese. Feel like you can eat rabbit, ravioli, ravioli and pasta. Ravioli is like uh, meat, like very thin steaks wrapped around the stuffing. Obviously rabbit, fennec, you can eat that if you want. They've got live music live music here as well this is a bit controversial i'm going to show you this i've walked past this with uh, a recent video because i did uh, one going down to fort st elmo this is in the same direction but look at this thing guys this is not just like the one from up there the one up there is just tables and chairs this is actually a structure and it was mentioned in Parliament about it. 
it has to be. And the, I think even the Valletta, Valletta Council was there. This, I was talking to this guy earlier. Look at this. This is very interesting. We were looking at his restaurant. This is a lot of history in here. Look at this. You wouldn't believe that. I was talking to the guy next door. He's got a restaurant. But look at it inside. It's got the archways and everything. Hello. It's the old, old Maltese style. He's got the restaurant next door and he said he's going to expand it into that side there. I think you'll see that on the video of Fort St. Elmo. How to, how to get to Fort St. Elmo. So I went into his restaurant and he was mentioning he does like pasta and blah, blah, blah. But next door is a very historic uh, door that was all over Valletta in the old days. Anyway, let's walk around the back streets of Valletta on the way to Lower Baraka and the siege bell. We're trying to make it for 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock every day, the bells dings. This is a bit modern part here. But they've been doing some recent refurbishing, so I don't know what's going to go on. I want to show you a little bit of, uh, of the statues. This is St Paul Street. Very historical here. And uh, very difficult to refurb because you don't know what you're going to come across. Sometimes it can be two stories down. Oh, look at this one here. This one's been. Look at the work that has to go into it. They have to put these supporting girders up because it's slanting all the way down. So you can see the history of this. So these girders went up to sort of hold the buildings apart. And God knows how deep it is. That's some buildings here. A lot of work going on. It's um, recently, it's a bit, little bit of an upsurge in Valletta. It's the capital, but uh, it's a very big capital. Very old, very historical. And down, de down, down deep. There's all sorts of things you come across. Which way shall we go? Let's have a walk down here. We're going to go down to the... That's over there. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> I thought it was going to come down this way, but it's blocked. Let's walk down here. Really, eh, if you want to get to a place, it's very, very easy. You just point in the right direction and just keep on going. I'm just going to have a wander around, showing you some of the... You know what, I, you know what I've said to somebody? I'm, actually, I was just saying it now, because I met some people uh, down by the conference centre. Every time I come to Valletta, every time I come to Valletta, I see something new, and this statue is really impressive. Look. This statue is uh, in a cemetery, and I don't know exactly what it is. It reminds me of, a, of the cemetery over in Marsa. Well, let me show you this. This is good. Look how steep it is. Really, you can't go wrong here. You're turning and... This guy, I, I won't... I bought a ticket off him. Uh, in Maltese we say Bladoch. In English you would say random. I bought it. You can buy a Super 5. You can set the numbers if you want. I forget how much it is now, but I bought four tickets and it's eight euros. So you work it out. And I said, and I, I won 500. <laughs> I just, normally I buy these certain numbers. And I said to him, oh no, we had Bladoch. And I won from that number, so it shows like it's all random. You don't know what you're going to come across. You've got some birds as well. Let's keep going. We're on our way to Lower Baraka and the Siege Bell. Might have to turn up a little bit here because I think I should have gone down one of the roads to see where we came out to. Oh, we're here. Not far away. Oh, 
Here we are on the, on the left hand side is our first stop. I'm just going to show you the Grand Arbor first. Fantastic views from here guys. You can come down many roads. I think there was uh, some kind of line here. It was the main one of the main entrances into Valletta. There it is, <laughs> the Grand Harbour. Wow, that was a good walk. We're here, guys. Lower Baraka. I think this is the nicest. Upper Baraka is quite nice. It's got a war memorial of. Uh, ooh, I, you know, I don't know what it's for. It's just some information about it here. Lower Baraka Garden. There's a garden by Sir Christopher Basin Offers. A beautiful view of the Grand Harbour. See, it's got War Memorial. Which we can have a look at it then. I wonder if they're still doing the bell. That's uh... Anyway, have a look at this. The bell rings at 12 o'clock, but they were having some problems with it. They're restoring it or something anyway. So we're going to have a walk around the garden. You'll see the siege bell. But I'm not sure what this uh, memorial's for. Oh, the fountain is being restored as well. I don't know if there's some information about it here. I used to remember something about it. There's a memorial, beautiful garden, upper baraka and lower baraka. I think they're the nicest. You get a nice view as well of the siege bell. This is what we came to see. So I'll show you how to get to that. But while you're here, stop at the bell pub underneath. There's a nice restaurant and have a cafe as well look at these lovely flowers i love these these are bushes but they can turn them into trees if you want many people have bushes of these in water wow this is nice and cold wow it was hot walking down there guys it must be over 30 and it's midday i think i prefer the afternoon i used to do videos before i retired over uh, in the afternoon when I finish work. Steve, why are you walking in that heat? It's too hot for you. Do it in the morning. <laughs> I think it's just as bad. Here's the siege bell. Used to ring at 12 o'clock, so I don't know if it's going to do anything, but we'll go over there and have a look. We'll walk around. The uh, breakwater. Three cities over there. This is a nice walk around on the top. They opened it up on top of the, uh, the old hospital, this was, of the Knights. But I don't know if they've continued on because Covid put a car wash and everything. Everything stopped. I think that's the route. Uh, we'll have a look from this end. Then we'll go and have a look at the bell. How you like this series, guys? How to get to? I did an interesting one. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up. Uh, how to get to the most beautiful toilet in Valletta. <laughs> boo, boo. It's a disaster. And it scanned me out of a euro. How oh, nice, eh? I think this is the most beautiful view. Upper Baraka is nice. But when the ships come past, the cruisers, if you can catch a cruiser here going out, you really get up close and personal. And there's so many people to go to Upper Baraka. All these here used to do with the knights and the, the customs and the docks because here used to be full of ships in the old days. Look at that wall there. It's collapsing. They need to do so much work here in Valletta, I think. The walls are just collapsing. What should we do? Should we go down to see the siege bell? We'll go down there. I don't think it's... It's 12 o'clock. I don't think it's going to ring. I know some... I heard something about they're doing a refurbish of the bell and in fact I drove past, here you can see there's doing, they've got scaffolding on the outside here. So they got, so uh, that's he that's heavy. I think, not sure, I always get mixed up with Brickacara and that one. Whether that's the biggest and Brickacara is the heaviest. Well, that's the heaviest and Brickacara is the biggest. One or two, but those are the two biggest bells in Malta. Brickacara, Santalina, 
and the siege bell. That's enormous. I'm gonna. Woo. Did you see that guy? I got attacked. Hey, these knock me away. These. Uh, tell me in the comments if you know if I haven't put already what this is, because I can't re remember. This needs some restoration as well. God, imagine that falling down. Beautiful views, as you saw as we were walking down. And this is the white version. Pink and white, I think it comes in this. And you can grow them as little bushes. Okay, let's go walk down to the siege bell. We'll go around a little bit. I don't think it's going to ring because it's 12 o'clock now. Probably on my way down it will ring. Plenty of people around here though. Either they've got a problem or they're refurbing it. Lack of water. To the siege bell. Ooh, look at this. I saw this one before. All electric, but with a space for an engine. And these are the most dangerous things. There's going to be some new laws coming out with these scooters. Because they're getting abandoned everywhere. People are just using them for a short time. Abandon them, they don't need a license, they're not even wearing any crash helmets, no insurance. This one you can see like just young kids on it, no idea of how they're driving it, it's probably the first time they've been on it. Oh, this they're changing these quite a lot there. Look, he wants to come down <laughs> and he wants to go up. Nobody's got patience in water, guys. Mechanic here, look. Traditional excellence. Let's close down. I might, I might come and get a lager. They're asking three, over three euros for a lager. And I'm a, I'm a skin fit. Let's try and cross over. I don't think there's others are crossing up there, but uh, <laughs> it's nice though in the morning. I think I I like it a bit more. There's more people around. I've met a lot more people. Especially subscribers, hello. Give me a shout if you see me, don't worry. I had one guy send me a message. He said, uh, uh, what did he say to me in the comments? I was the guy in the blue shirt that passed you in Floriana on the so-and-so date. And looking back at it, I looked at one guy and he was like, uh, you know, like when somebody looks at you from the corner of his eye, like this. I thought, He's looking at me a bit strange. He said, I, I didn't want to say hello to you. Come and say hello and buy me a beer. <laughs> no, but here's me, here's the siege bell. Some people don't get my jokes and they take me the wrong way. Let's go up, more stairs. Oh, what's going on? The war started again, guys. What's all that about? <laughs> no idea. That's up at Baraka where we were. I thought we were getting gonna get bombed on. Let's have a look around here. Plenty of stairs in Villeta. That's the upper, uh, sorry, the lower Baraka. Yeah. Here's the bell, guys. Yeah, I can see that I've been working on it here. How long are they going to take? 
You can see the iron is there, look, it's cracking. In Maltese they call it shipka. The shipka is exposed. And what it does is when they built it many years ago, it started rusting and rusting away. And there's a terrific weight on the top. You can see a lot of crack in there. So I was uh, thinking what to do with it. No, merci. Merci, merci, merci c'est gentil, merci. I was thinking what to do with it, how to take it down, because what an effort to put up there, all that weight, and really it's only on these two little columns here, and then look how they cracked, so that's danger, so that's why they're not ringing it. Plenty of foreigners. <laughs> You're a bloody foreigner, Steve. Get out of the country. Is a of the siege, the great siege memorial. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. And that's in Maltese. Don't ask me tell with Maltese. Probably some of you were, well, well done, Steve, you translated that well. <laughs> there is some, some church bells going, but you can see the problem with that one. It's not going to ring. And if it falls on your head, you'll be dead. So there we are, guys. Lower Baraka and the siege bell. Hope you enjoyed it. How to get to 